Hello viewers, nice to meet you once again uh, with another topic related with English phonetics. In my earlier video, I just gave an introduction about what is phonetics. It's a part of linguistics and things like that. Now getting it deep into the subject called phonetics. This video would explain to you something about airstream mechanism. You know, when we talk, we push in, uh, we pull in a lot of air, we push out a lot of air. It is without air, uh, uh, with air that we are capable of speaking. And this video would explain the importance of air and its role when somebody is giving a speech. And I've titled this as airstream mechanism. That's a part of phonetics that everyone should know so that you learn phonetics to the fullest and you understand that phonetics is a scientific study of speech, right? Now let me get into the title or the video straight away. Since we have said uh, this is more of science and when we come to know that uh, it is about air, right, we have to talk about our physiology, especially the human respiratory system. In human body, the air we breathe in reaches the lungs and the lungs in turn push it out either through our nose or through our mouth. Right? This system is called as respiratory system. There are two kinds of breathings. Right? The process of breathing is called as respiration. If we take the outer air into our lungs, it is called as inspiration. When the air is pushed out from our lungs, it is called as expiration. Now that I have used the, the word lungs for many a time, let us see what is lungs. Lungs are spongy bodies made up of alveoli. The alveoli are small sacs like sac like bodies which takes fresh oxygen and pushes out carbon dioxide. Air from alveoli passes through small tubes called bronchioles. Bronchioles join with two large tubes called bronchi, which join together and is called as trachea or windpipe. And it is from windpipe the air is either taken in or taken out from either the nose or the mouth. Now what you see in the screen is the pictorial representation of the respiratory system or I could always call this as the cross section of a respiratory system. Now if you look into the picture deeply, you see the two lungs, left part and the right part and it has all dark lines running over it. All those are called as bronchioles. The bronchioles join together into two huge pipelines right, within the lungs they are called as the bronchi. These two bronchi join together in the windpipe. The windpipe, you can look at that, a dark black color. It goes either to the mouth or to the nose. So this is how, these are the organs that are being used regularly, right, when you speak or when you breathe in and breathe out. And this is how speech is made. And at last we have come to the next slide and this is major concentration or the major part of this particular video. What is airstream mechanism? Air is pulled in or pushed out of our mouth when we produce speech sounds. This movement of air or the mechanism is called as airstream mechanism. Now let's have a small test to understand the movement of air from our mouth. Can you whisper the sound ha by keeping your palm before your mouth or your lips? Can you feel the air coming out of your mouth? Try again. Ha. Say ha. Right. There is some air coming out from your mouth. Now, I would like you to whisper the sound who after saying ha with your palms before your mouth. What do you feel now? When you say ha, there is a way of gushing out of uh, air, right, that, that your palm could feel. 
and later when you say who and there is again a different kind of a push from your mouth the air is exploring or hitting your palm say it again and again ha who ha who ha who now what's happening could you feel the movement of air from your lungs either being pushed out or being pulled in this small activity or exercise would have taught you better what is air stream mechanism there are different kinds of air stream mechanism and there are three kinds of air stream mechanism in general the first one is pulmonic air stream mechanism the second one is glottalic air stream mechanism and the third one is velaric air stream mechanism pulmonic air stream mechanism comes in the first of the list before talking or describing pulmonic air stream mechanism I have to bear put a point to you that when the air is pushed in or pushed out the organ which busies itself or which is active in doing or in pushing out or push, pulling in the air that organ is called as the initiator i would like to make you uh, make a note of this to you people now in pulmonic air stream mechanism lungs act as the initiator that is lungs is the part of a body which sets the air in motion the lungs push out the air through mouth or nose when we speak when the air is pushed out from the lungs it is called as egressive air stream mechanism and when the air is pulled in it is called as ingressive air stream mechanism so there are two kinds of pulmonic air stream mechanism one is egressive pulmonic air stream mechanism or the second one is ingressive air stream pulmonic air stream mechanism while speaking english and many indian languages air is usually pushed out from the lungs such languages are called as pulmonic egressive air stream mechanism the second kind of air stream mechanism is glottalic air stream mechanism in this air stream mechanism the glottis which forms a part of larynx or the adam's apple in general acts as the initiator some languages in the world use both egressive and some languages in the world use ingressive glottalic air stream mechanism the final kind of air stream mechanism is velaric air stream mechanism in this air stream mechanism back of the tongue acts as the initiator a few african languages uses ingressive velaric air stream mechanism it is said that no language in the world uses egressive velaric air stream mechanism now here i end this video i hope you have got some knowledge about what is air stream mechanism and you would have some basic knowledge about the three different kinds of air stream mechanism what are they and where to fix english language in air stream mechanism thank you so much for listening and looking at my slides thank you so much